envelopes are one of the most musical and powerful tools in designing sounds. They control the articulation of how our patches play, and without them, our sounds would start off at full blast the moment we hit a key wave and immediately return to silence the moment we took our finger off. Although that might be exactly what we want for certain sounds, more often than not, we're gonna wanna have a sound sort of swoop in or decay slowly after we release the note. It really just depends on what the music is calling for and what our ears tell us. The key to creating those effects and many other things is to use an envelope. The word envelope is one that pops up a whole lot when we're talking about music synthesis or working inside of a digital audio workstation. It's one of those words like low pass filter, which I would rename if I could, except in this instance, I would change it from its noun form of envelope to its verb form of to envelop. The definition of envelop is to completely enclose or surround, which is exactly what an envelope does. A paper envelope encloses a letter, and in the very same way, the envelopes on a synthesizer takes an audio signal and wraps themselves around it, shaping and carving the sound. Now, this is an oversimplification of how an envelope works, but it's a very useful visual metaphor for people who have a hard time wrapping their heads around the idea, pun intended. An envelope shapes the sound, similar to how a filter does, but instead of just shaping the frequency spectrum, an envelope shapes the way a sound evolves over time. There are four main stages of an envelope you need to understand, and they are attack, decay, sustain, and release. Let's go to patch number 67 named harp and voice and take a look. Once you hit a key wave, the signal will first encounter the attack stage, which equates to the amount of time it will take a note to go from silence to full volume. The higher the attack time, the longer it will take for a sound to come in. All of the time-based stages in Equator's envelopes have a range of zero to five seconds. Click on the first envelope to select it, and then you can see that similar to the five dimensions of touch, envelopes can be mapped to control or shape different parameters on Equator. You can see here that the first envelope is mapped to control the level of the two samples and oscillator three which only make up a portion of this patch's overall signal. Right now, the attack time is at zero, so the sound should come in right away, and we can hear that it does when I press a key wave. So if I raise the value all the way to five seconds, when I hit a note and hold it down, it should take that long for the samples and one of the oscillators to reach full volume. The next stage we reach is the decay time, and this equates to the amount of time it takes for the note to go from full volume to a sustained level. If we go to the next patch, number 68, electro bass, we can hear this pretty clearly. When I hit a note, it reaches full volume instantaneously and then decays down relatively quickly. You can see this happening on all the respective levels of the three oscillators that this envelope is mapped to and make up this particular patch. Next comes the sustain level, which isn't actually associated to a time value. It's the level that the sound will sustain at after the decay and before the final release stage. On this same patch, currently there is no sustain level, so the sound will descend to silence without sustaining at all. But if I turn up the sustain level, it will decay to a certain point and then stay there until I say otherwise. If I click on this tiny arrow in the right-hand corner of the envelope, we can switch the way we're viewing it, and here we have a graphical representation of how this envelope unfolds. Each dot represents the value of each stage, so you can see here I can adjust the attack time, the decay time, and the sustain level. Some of us are more visual, so seeing this literal shape of the envelope may be easier to work with and adjust. Lastly, we hit the release stage, which is the amount of time it takes for a note to go from sustain level to silence after you remove your finger from the key wave. Right now, we have a 28 millisecond release time, which is very short and almost immediate. But if we raise that amount, now when I release the key wave, the sound will reach silence much slower. You can imagine how integral volume envelopes can be when designing patches like pads or string sounds, which need to swell in. In a lot of ways, these envelopes create the defining characteristics of many sounds. As you may have guessed, Equator's envelopes can be mapped to multiple parameters and wants and control so much more than just volume. 
If we click over to the next envelope, you can see that it's mapped to the cutoff of filter one, which is a very common control parameter for an envelope. This way, the brightness of the sound will evolve over time in the very same way the volume did in the first envelope. If I adjust the attack time of the envelope, I'm delaying the full brightness of the sound, and we can hear that in action. Equator has five envelopes, so the level of depth you can reach is relatively significant. You can turn on the subsequent envelopes by clicking on their top left-hand corner and then map them just as you would any of the other five dimensions of touch. Additionally, there are four types of envelopes for you to choose from, and each one works a different way. One of the most fun is the loop envelope. Navigate to preset number 51, Classic Acid Base. This envelope will repeat the attack and the decay stages over and over again until I release the note, which will then trigger the release stage. For those of you who are interested in knowing even more detailed information about these envelopes, I suggest you read chapter seven of the Equator Manual, which you can find at the link in the description of this video. Envelopes are things which make more sense the more you use them. So if you're new to sound design, try not to let it overwhelm you and focus on just a single envelope and a single parameter like volume. A good way to begin would be by pulling up an empty patch by clicking on the menu icon on the right hand side and selecting new from the drop down menu that appears. The initial patch is a single simple sine wave. Try adjusting the amp envelope to see if you can get this to swell in and out. From there, I would browse through the other presets in Equator and try adjusting their envelopes. As always, less is more and follow your ears. As long as it's the right note, a single evolving parameter can be the difference between an interesting sound and an emotional impact.